Fall brings with it a new school year, but you can find academics in the most unusual places. In this case, the third annual Great Grown Up Spelling Bee, benefiting the Literacy Council of Fort Bend. We had our third annual Great Grown Up Spelling Bee, which is just so much fun, and every year it gets even more fun than it was the year before. People are showing up in costume now and just having a time of their life, and they're also very, very smart. They can spell the words that are handed to them and just do an awesome job of supporting the Literacy Council through this event. Charisma. C-H-A-R-I-S-M-A. Charisma. We support those individuals in our county who want better life skills through literacy. Uh, we change lives literally every day. We offer classes in basic literacy, ESL, GED preparation, which is our fastest growing class at this point, uh, U.S. citizenship, and some beginning computer skills classes. We also have something new that we've uh, had a couple of years, and that's our transitions class, which is for those GED graduates that want to go on and go to college. Um, they get to assess their, their interests, they get some counseling on financial aid, so they feel a little more uh, prepared to make the decision as to whether or not they're ready to, to move on to college and try to blend that with the um, life situation that they have at that point. Whether they're working full time, they're single parents, all of those kinds of things come into play when they're making that decision, just as it does for everyone. The Great Grown Up Spelling Bee came to us uh, through the gal, actually, who was our judge for the day. Um, Shane Newell came to us having done a similar event in Houston, brought the event to us, and originally called me and said, I'd like to bring it to Fort Bend County. If you are interested, I'll co-chair the event. I couldn't say no. <laughs> so we started three years ago, and the event, of course, is just to be able to raise funds for the Literacy Council so that we can continue to serve our adult students. We actually use the, the great, the great grown-up spelling bee uses the same words that the kids use in the National Spelling Bee. So we use the same, same litany of words. Uh, we have easy words, or supposedly easy words, uh, intermediate words, and then the harder, harder words that they spell. You guys are too good, so we're moving on to the even harder words. <laughs> Your word is sphygmomanometer. One advantage participants at the Grown Up Spelling Bee have over their school age counterparts is enhancers. Special cards which serve to help them along, like the ever popular mulligan. Your new word is sequatera. <laughs> but sometimes they don't work out so well. This year is a really special year for us. It's our 25th anniversary and we have celebrated every, at every single event that we've had this year. Uh, and we've got another event coming, our Back the Bend in November. Um, it is a very special event for us because it's 25 years of being supported in the community of Fort Bend County. And since we take only gifts, grants, and donations, we don't do federal funding or state funding, it's very important that we've, we're still here after 25 years in Fort Bend County, so we feel very supported. C-O-U-B-A-D-E. That is correct. Congratulations. For more information on upcoming events, go online to www.ftbendliteracy, all one word, dot org. For Celebrate Reading, this is Randall Williams.